Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get an equation from a table using your TI Inspire CX2. Now, if you have a TI Inspire CX, it's okay. It's pretty much the same thing. All right, so the first thing you want to know is um, about your table is that the numbers on top are your X values and the numbers on the bottom are your Y values. Now, when I think about a table, I think about uh, numbers that are just listed okay so a table pretty much is just a list of numbers so on my calculator I have many options to choose from I can choose from the bottom icons or I can just click on number one and it, I have the exact same icon so remember that a table is a list of numbers so I'm going to pick number four add a list in spreadsheets and if I look at the icon it looks like a table so I'm going to click on number four, and then I'm going to go all the way up to letter A and type in X. By doing this, we're telling the calculator that all of the numbers that we're going to put in here are going to represent the X value. Now we're going to go to letter B and type in Y and click enter. Same thing. We're telling the calculator that all of the numbers that we put in this column are going to represent the Y value. So. When I look at my table, I have some options. I can put all of my numbers into my list and spreadsheets. I can put three numbers. It's all up to you. I am going to use the first two order pairs, so that way um, I don't take up too much of your time. You will still get the same answer, though, the same equation. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. My first x value is 4, negative 4. So I'm going to put equals to negative 4. Now, the reason why I put the equal sign is because when I taught my students how to order numbers, it was necessary to put the equal sign. So here I'm going to put equals to negative 1, enter. Now I'm going to go to my y value, and I'm going to put equals to negative 16 and equals to negative 7, enter. So now that I have my X values and my Y values, I want to open up a different screen. So I'm going to put Control Dot, okay? And then from there, I'm going to go to Data and Statistics. So this is how it looks like. Now I want to move these blue circles to hit the ground. So I'm going to click on Tab. Tab is located right on top of the Control button, literally right on top of the blue button. So click on Tab and then click on X. So now my blue circles are on the ground. I'm gonna click tab again, and I'm gonna click on Y. This is gonna cause them to move towards the sky. From here, we're gonna to go to menu. I want to analyze, go to regression, and then I'm gonna click on number one, show linear MX plus B. This is your slope intercept form. So I'm gonna click on it, and here is my equation. So I have y equals 3 times x plus negative 4. Okay, and this can be written as y is equal to 3 times x minus 4. Notice that my y intercept, oops, notice that my y intercept is still negative 4. The y-intercept is the number without the variable, okay? And my slope is the number in front of the variable. And what number is that? It's 3. So my slope is 3, and my y-intercept is negative 4. And the only one that has that is letter C. So letter C is my answer, 3x minus 4 where my slope is 3 and my y-intercept is negative 4. Now we're going to do another problem. We're going to do problem 18. So again, here I have my... Um, here I have my table, and again, it's a horizontal table. So we have a different problem. So what I like to do in my calculators, I like to go to doc. Insert problem, and I like to go ahead and do the same thing. 
I have a horizontal table and a table is just a list of numbers. So I'm gonna go to add list and spreadsheets. Notice now that on top it says 2.1, that means I'm on problem number two. So I'm gonna go all the way up to letter A, click X, go back to letter B, label it Y, and when I come over here, remember that all of my numbers on top are my X values, and all the numbers on the bottom are my Y values. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick any two points. I will pick these two points right here. Here are my order pairs, 30 and 20, and I'm gonna pick um, 90 and 65. Okay, so I can show you that it doesn't matter what points you pick. So here I'm gonna put equals, 30, enter, equals 290. Those are my X values. And my Y values are equals to 20 and equals to 65, enter. From there, we're gonna put control doc. We're gonna go to data and statistics. Click on tab. X, so now my blue circles hit the ground. Tab, oops, tab Y, menu, analyze, regression, and I wanna click the first one, show linear MX plus B, because that's my slope intercept form. So here's my equation. I have Y equals to zero, 0.75 x plus a negative 2.5 okay now notice that my slope is a number in front of the variable which is 0 0.75 that's your slope and my y-intercept is the one that doesn't have the variable and it's a negative 2.5 now, if I look at my answer choices, you can see that none of them match my answer choice. What I got from the calculator, everything is written in fractions. Do not panic, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to convert this into a decimal a fraction to get your answer. So we're gonna put control doc, and we're gonna add a calculator. So I want to convert 0 0.75 into a fraction since everything's a fraction. So I'm going to put 0 0.75, type in the decimal that you want to convert, okay? From there, we're going to go to menu. We're going to go to number. And then we're going to approximate to fraction. So what you're telling the calculator is take this decimal and convert it to a fraction. And when I click enter, my fraction is 3 fourths. So now I know that my slope is actually 3 fourths times x, okay? And then I had a minus 2.5. So I have a minus 2.5. So I'm gonna put my, on my calculator, we're gonna convert it to negative 2.5. Okay, that's my decimal. Negative 2.5 is my y-intercept. I'm gonna go to menu, number, approximate to fraction. So we're telling the calculator, take this number and put it into a fraction, click enter, and there I have it. My y-intercept is minus five over two. So when I look at my answer choices, my answer is letter D. So there you have it, guys. This is how you find the equation of a table using your TI Inspire CX and your chance by CX2. See you next time. Bye.